Here's the great news. There's only about, I don't know, like 10,000 different damn wheel companies out there right now. And if you weren't in the wheel scene, you probably wouldn't know a damn difference between one of them over the other because there's a lot of them, okay? Sure, there are things like Rotary Forged and there's weight differences, but most people don't really seem to care about that when they are first looking at a set of wheels. They legit just want what we would call some bangers, okay? And that's all right. We're here to kind of help with that. I'm Alex, Alex at a fine Instagram, and today we're gonna to be talking about some of the best JDM brands for wheels if you're looking to snag a set in, I don't know, maybe in the next 30, 60, 90 days, tax season's coming, that whole sort of thing. I mean, wheel tire suspension fitment industries.com. I don't know what else to tell you. Which, by the way, if you're just tuning in, welcome, neighbor. Don't forget to subscribe. But before we even do, if you're looking to win a free set of wheels, we have a content giveaway going on for the month of January. Description link will be below. You're welcome, okay? JDM brands, by definition, are not only the Japanese wheel brands overseas, but companies that have also truly embodied, I believe, a lot of that JDM style, look, and authenticity, because there are some new brands coming into the fray that deserve a little bit of love. So to start it off, we're gonna go with the iconic and original Work Wheels. Now, in terms of a Japanese or JDM wheel brand, Work Wheels is always number one. They've always kind of been number one, and they've been a major player in the game for as long as wheels have been around. And it seems like they've always been doing a fantastic job with it, especially in the aftermarket tuning scene. If you've heard us talk about work in the past, they've been around for probably about five decades now. And throughout the decades, work has really grown from a company that's needed to initially prove themselves to a company that just people want to support. It's a brand that takes a lot of pride in the content and product that it actually creates. Many of their wheels are completely original, different, and carry a design style that keeps them always looking like work. Like their other stuff that comes out never really deviates from their typical styling or design. I mean, they do have some different stuff, but you can always just kind of tell when a work wheel is a work wheel. Some of the best work wheels right now would obviously be the Work Meister and the Work Kiwami. Both are a little bit of a higher price, but have the good old benefits of being a real wheel. Plus they have the tag of being a real wheel of awesome, which is pretty awesome. Which is pretty good. And they're made to the point where you'll likely never really get rid of them. The quality is substantially better and it's a fantastic wheel to own and you can put it on anything. It always looks good on everything and nobody's ever really gonna give you crap. Next on the list would be a US brand that has recently popped up that carries a lot of that JDM styling brand, but also with like a new gen twist. And that would honestly be Kansei Wheels. Kansei is a new wheel brand that came out from Chris S, which features a lot of that JDM styling and design while still doing the most of with the originality and heritage that they possibly can. And that's where it gets a little bit tough. And let me just stop you right there. There are only so many ways that you can actually design a damn five spoke. Trust me, we've tried, I made a video about it, it was terrible, I cried, they cried, it was just not a good time. But Kansai is taking a lot of those solid designs, putting them in front of the function community and the drift scene and just letting it run in sizing and widths and things that people actually need. Kansai has a few select models, with the bronze KMP probably being the most popular. Right over there. If I could ask one more time about this damn wheel, it's right here, it's right over here, all right? This is the KNP. It's a Kansei wheel. But they've got the Roku, the Tandem, they've got a new Twisty Boy design. What I like most about these wheels and why it's on the list is the fact that the brand authenticity that's coming out of Kansei and the fact that they've actually just become really easily accessible. You don't have to pay an arm and a leg to get a wheel that just looks good and functions well and just has a good heritage to Japanese style. Because a lot of times when you start talking about Japanese wheels, you're either paying a lot of money for a new one or you're taking a good old long time to try and find the wheel that you want that's overseas. Next up on the list though would be obviously the Volk and Gramlite brand. Now JDM wheels historically cost a lot of money, so I'm sorry about that. But the Volk and Gramlite brand both deserve attention on this list. The TE37, because it's the TE37. And the Gram Lights because it's the entry level version of all the wheels in their umbrella, which is really what we'd like to spend most of the time here on. Either way, Volk was one of the first and fastest companies to make some of the strongest wheels to date with a forging machine that outperformed some racing circuit wheels at the same time. They had like a 10,000 ton pressing machine, it was insane. Volk had a name for quality after that with the price point that they were at, they just never made anything that wasn't perfect. Just how she is. Gram lights were introduced because they really wanted to find a way to get more wheels in front of the right people, and it worked out really well. Gram lights fit on a lot of great cars. They have great fitment, great function, and they're the most affordable out of their entire lineup, which makes them a little bit easier 
to get a hold of. Not like a you know, not like a five thousand dollar set of Volks or what everybody has, locked and loaded, ready to go. You know what I mean? And the last one on the list would be the good old boys down the way. The ones that were literally the first company in the scene. The company that we still need to do a wheel history video on, but last time we tried to do it, they weren't a super big fan of us making memes, but that's okay, it's fine. We'll get there eventually. We're gonna talk about NK Wheels, okay? NK or NK is a JDM brand that's been around longer than most of our grandparents. It's just how she goes. NK was somewhat of a weird brand, okay? They most recently developed some new wheels, but they're mostly known for the good old RPF1, which is now nearing almost, almost two and a half decades old, 25 years. Because of the tech and the price, they've never really been able to be beaten. Some of their new wheels are banging, but the price point again is just a little bit higher up there than what most people are willing to buy. That and NK has started to move away from a lot of the aftermarket wheel stuff. They do enjoy making it, but they, I mean, OEM wheels make a lot more money in that market, okay? Bonus points for Weds, Wed Sports, Advan, and more. There's so many brands out there, but we've only got like eight minutes. JDM brands are a little bit interesting when it comes down to wheel designs because you really got to figure out what you like or what you want. They're definitely not the cheapest out of everything that you can find out there, but they do have a purpose as to why their prices are where they're at. So what do you think is one of the best JDM brands out there? Drop a comment below and let us know, of course, if you're looking for any sort of aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension, you can head on over to fitmentindustries.com where we literally have it all, including, you know, what we talked about, work, Conse, NK, Advan, Graham Lights, and if you're not about the JDM wheel scene, that's fine too. We got some other stuff out there as well. We also got a gallery. That thing's bumping. You guys should go check it out. And if you have an aftermarket car that you haven't added to it, you should add to it. Because I'm going to give you a shout out on Instagram. It's pretty fun. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries, and we will see you later. Peace.